Hey guys, this is Mitchell from Gamefront here with a beginner slash intermediate strategy guide for Injustice Gods Among Us. These guides are meant to give players a starting point for learning a new character, but are by no means an expert guide. So, with that said, this video will cover... Zatanna. Prepare to be astounded. As you might imagine with her being a magician, Zatanna's bag of tricks is enormous. She has one of the largest lists of special moves at her disposal, including a trait that gives her yet another set of special moves. As such, she can be an extremely unpredictable character who specializes in long range combat, but isn't afraid to suddenly get in close if the opportunity arises. So, to start off, let's begin the daunting task of going over all of Zatanna's special moves. Fire Kiss, Down Back Medium. On its own, this move is actually pretty useless. It's got slow startup, weak range, and Zatanna has a much better combo ender. But once you add meter, it becomes a different beast. You can simply add meter for a giant fireball projectile, or you can hold forward to make the fireball go faster, or you can hold back and make it move really slowly, allowing you to use it as a shield. When combined with Zatanna's teleport, this move can really mess with your opponent. Linking Rings, Down, Back, Light basically Kung Lao's hat throw from Mortal Kombat. You can direct it up and down, it moves really quickly, but the downside is that it has a bit of a slow startup. Adding meter simply increases the damage and makes it come out much faster. Teleport, down up. As you can see, Zatanna has a lot of different teleports. They're pretty easy to remember though. Simply entering down up will always place you right in front of the enemy. Pressing back after inputting the move will teleport you about a quarter of the screen away. Pressing forward will teleport you behind the opponent, and pressing down will act as a feint, keeping you in the same spot. Using meter during a teleport will significantly reduce the recovery time and allow you to easily follow up with the combo once you emerge. Satana can also teleport in the air, but only after using her levitate maneuver, which is done by pressing up up heavy while in the air. All of the teleports and their properties are the same as the ground versions. Zatara Dive, down back heavy while in air. This is a great dive kick that you can use to follow up a successful aerial heavy. The enhanced version dives through the opponent, landing back on the ground, and allowing for a follow up. Multi Kick, back forward light. This is Zatanna's most important move when she's up close. Similar to Flash's lightning kicks, Zatanna's multi-kick is extremely fast, is great to use on wake up, and most importantly, becomes a launcher when you meter burn. Puppet Master, back, forward, heavy. Another really good move for Zatanna. Not only does this home in on enemies like Scorpion's Hellfire, but it also is relatively quick, can be enhanced for a free back heavy, and most importantly, the regular version actually reverses the opponent's controls for a short period of time. Smoke and Mirrors, down, down, heavy. Yet another move to further add to Zatanna's mind games. Zatanna splits into three, but only one of them is the real Zatanna. By simply entering the command, the middle Zatanna will be the real one. Pressing left after entering the command will make the leftmost clone the real one. And of course, pressing right will make the rightmost clone the real one. Note that while in this state, Zatanna cannot block. 52 pickup, back, forward, medium. And here we have Zatanna's main combo ender. It's decently fast, covers about half the screen, and can be comboed into after most of Zatanna's basic moves. Zatanna's trait gives her a wand and turns her into a zoning machine. While in this mode, she can fire a simple projectile with down forward light, aim the blast at a 45 degree angle with down back medium, fire a low projectile with down forward medium, blast an opponent in the air with down forward heavy, absorb projectiles with down back light, and use a close range AOE blast with down back heavy. Note though that this form is on a time limit, will end prematurely if Zatanna gets hit, and while in this form, Zatanna cannot jump, crouch, or block. Now let's go over some basic combos that you should know while playing as Zatanna. Skilled Illusionist, Light, Light, Medium. Zatanna's basic three hit combo that links into nearly all of her special moves. Also useful for catching opponents in juggles. Hidden ones, Forward, Medium, Light. A great mid hitting option for initiating combos. And it also has a pretty awesome hit advantage for a move that doesn't knock the enemy too far away. Magic Show, back, medium, light. Zatanna's main overhead hitting combo. Like many overheads, it's a bit of a slow startup. 
but you can combo into it pretty easily after landing an aerial medium. Night chill, back light, up heavy. And here we have a low hitting starter that knocks the enemy into the air for a jungle. Now let's put it all together for some advanced combos. Aerial medium, back light, up heavy, aerial heavy, enhanced Zatara dive, aerial heavy, Zatara dive. One of my personal favorite Zatanna combos because it just feels really natural and it's easy to remember. Simply put them in the air, aerial heavy, enhanced dive kick, and then quickly pull off another aerial heavy and regular dive kick. Aerial medium, back medium, light, enhanced multi kicks, back heavy, dash, aerial heavy, light, light, medium, 52 pickup. Thankfully, the hard part about this combo, timing wise, is catching the opponent with the light, light, medium. And even if you do drop that part, you'll still have done well over 30% damage. Back light, up heavy, aerial heavy, forward medium, light, enhanced puppet master. Back heavy, aerial heavy, forward medium, light, puppet master. Another option for ending your combos also involves using Puppet Master to mess with their controls, potentially allowing you to get another combo while they're confused. And finally, let's close it all out with a combo that links into Zatanna's Super. Aerial Heavy, Medium Medium, Super. If you forgive the pun, the best word to describe Zatanna is tricky. She doesn't have the greatest basic moveset, and to be honest, her aerial and anti-aerial game is pretty lacking. That being said, if you're able to master the teleports and know when to zone and when to get in, Zatanna will be a nightmare matchup against many opponents in Injustice. I personally don't like her trait that much, but she's got so many other tricks up her sleeve, she doesn't really need it. Thanks for watching this and all of our other guides in Injustice. And if you found this video to be helpful in any way, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Back medium, up heavy, back medium, up heavy, aerial medium, enhanced aerial smoke bomb, dash, back heavy, down medium, bat wheel, hold up. The overhead starter makes this an important mix-up combo for Batgirl. It's also fairly damaging, so this is a great combo to get down. 